And this is the what? What is this called? And this is where all the wind turbines are connected? Yes, all, well, I'll try and explain what, what's going on here. from these turbines comes in on these what they call feeder circuits there's one see the tower the pole there one two three four so we got four feeders that bring in the power and this one here is not energized this there's no you see the there's no wires coming out of that that's for we're uh, considering a, a phase two expansion okay we'll add approximately 20 more turbines potentially might be as low as few as 10 but it's going to be between 10 and 20 and we're right in the in the uh, in that process of possibly expanding it to force butte 2 so so the power comes into here but then like your automobile you have a battery so you need you need power to make power so power comes in not only comes in but like now we're you know the turbines are generating power so the power is coming back in and going across going through these circuits and going back over here to to your power transmission line and then that's when you be able to that puts power back to your house to where you can flip on your sw light switch and have power okay where is your guys's powering what is yours mostly going to do you know uh it's going well the power goes on the grid Okay, so just it just shares with like it all goes, of Idaho Falls yeah, and it goes it goes on the grid, but we share power with Idaho Falls, with Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and also uh, over at Jackson Hole, there's a ski area that's that is powered 100% from the power that's generated generated from here. Now, does that power go to that ski site? Ski site? No, it doesn't. It goes on the grid. Okay. But they they buy credits from here to offset their carbon imprint that the ski area has. Oh, that's cool. So That's pretty neat. Yep. Do the wind turbines mainly go on just pasture land instead of like farmland? No, they can go on farmland, pasture land. And so people could still farm if they wanted to? Oh, absolutely. And then there's still a bunch of cows out there yep. grazing on the land as well, so the farmers are able to still use the land that the turbines are put on. Well, and with how expensive farming is and the equipment and everything, this is a way for them to make some extra money in exactly. case, like, crops don't go, go well or something yeah, else happens. A, a residual income for them. And can help them basically pay off debts and stuff, too. Yeah. So they can Absolutely. use it to, like, pay off what they owe. And uh, how long would it take to put up a new wind term? Wind... <laughs> A wind turbine. No, just to put up, well, yeah, and a whole, like, everything. A, a project, like a, whatever. An additional project, that's what we're right in the process of doing, is getting all the, we've already got the permits to approval from uh, Bonneville County to put up more turbines, so we're now working through the process, working through that process to, with uh, turbine manufacturers to see which one we want to put up, so. So how long would it take just to put up one wind turbine? Probably one turbine. Once you get the get the okay, probably in a month. So it takes about a month to put up to one. To set up one. How long would it take to set up a whole wind farm, like this whole thing? Probably within a year and a half, you could have the whole site done. So it takes about a year and a half to design a whole wind turbine, whatever energy grid system. <laughs> yeah. Well, by the time they build the the substation and the transmission, hopefully. Got to first thing you got to have is a transmission line, which gets the power out to your homes and gets it. When you flip that light switch, that you have power <laughs> at that light switch. And yeah. then there's not just one type of wind turbine. There's like lots of different like manufacturers, right? right? So they're all different companies are running yeah, all the different ones. Yeah, they've got some that are offshore that are going uh, being built out in the ocean. And these turbines here are a uh, two megawatt platform. They're the biggest ones is, is about, I've heard about a 10 or 11 megawatt platform, which that's huge. Okay. And so they like have different ones made for like different climates and different, like however the weather is in different areas. Right, they have, these have what they call a cold weather package that, that provides heat inside the, 
inside the uh, the turbine and in the, the cell. It's kind of like when you're cold, you like to be out in the cold, and when you come back in from the cold, you like to be in the house and get warmed up, right? These turbines are the same way. They like to be warm. They don't. They they perform really well in the cold, but then again, some of the critical parts they like to be warm. Yeah. Just like when you're snugged in your bed, you got a. Some of you probably have a heater. Uh, heating blanket that you snuggle up in that so so this is like one wind energy station or site how many wind turbine energy sites or stations do you think there are within the United States if you had to guess? I would say probably at least 300 wind sites if not more so and how does this average on sites because you guys have 32 yep. is that average probably between small to medium okay and what would be a big site? How many wind turbines would be on a well, big site? There's some that are that are projected to have a thousand. From one company running this. At one at one site, different different uh, phases, obviously, because you can't have that much power going at one site going down one grid. That's that's a, an enormous amount of power going down that that particular transmission line. Okay. And they also have different wind farms in other countries and other continents as well. Yeah. Sweden, for example. Uh, Denmark has a bunch. Uh, France has a bunch. Europe. Uh, the uh, Actually, the Euro Europeans are way far ahead on some of their recycling, and we're just now starting to catch up with them. So everyone tries to learn from each other to Absolutely. try to make it more efficient. Yep. To make it easy. But you gotta, you gotta learn from each other. If you don't learn from each other, you're not going to survive. Look at that one. Because you can't really do it as a competition. It has to be a teamwork to make the whole. Because the whole goal is to protect the earth and make the renewable energy for when we run out of oil or fuel. And have. Well, it's, it's to make the fossil fuels last a lot longer. Hopefully for several lifetimes. If we don't do that, we'll run out. So be back in the ages of the stone age so to speak no more video games <laughs> just the covered wagon and these aren't and putting candles. pollution up into the air either right. the covered wagon and candles so they're not like harming the farmland at all by like polluting them well, our carbon footprint is zero to none very very minimal which is awesome looking at the future guys hi and Buster's backside hi Buster are you impressed, Buster? He's like, yep, I'm hungry. So right over there is like a weather tower. Yep. Oh yeah, that's the meteorolo meteorology yep. tower. <laughs> so they kind of communicated with, um, used like the communication about like how windy it was here and like knew that this location would be, work well for a wind turbine farm. Are a bunch of companies competing to get the land? Like when a company finds land, are they all like competing? Is it a big yep. competition? Can be. So it's kind of like, like Walmart and Target and it's like any of those. They're all competing for your business or for, yeah. Awesome. Let's see. Okay. So, I guess that was our virtual field trip to the, what are we at? Horse Butte. Horse Butte Wind Farms. Horse Butte Wind Farms out in Idaho Falls. Idaho. Hopefully you're still awake. <laughs> and maybe you learned something. I know I learned a lot. I didn't know half of this stuff, so. Hi guys. Thanks for sharing with us, and giving us you our little. You really just gotta trip. thank Buster because he's the Buster. smart one. Buster, Buster's what brought him out here. And we got our other puppies got, that have patiently been waiting for this. Jasper and we Nico. put them to sleep. Jasper and Nico are patiently waiting now. They're, yep. they're ready to go for a ride again. And we left Joy Joy at home. <laughs> There's Jasper. He's the, he's the ambassador. I'll pose for you. You like to go to the wind? <laughs> Aww. Nice. <laughs> Friendliest huskies ever. And the most chill. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Like <laughs> hey. Everyone say bye. Bye. Bye, bye puppies. Master says bye. See you next time.